Right, children, welcome to day 34 of the ICT Games Daily Dollop of Maths, keeping the math skills bubbling over while we can't be in school. Thanks for coming back. Uh, we've got, um, uh, can you please, sorry, um, be sat with an adult? Uh, please, can you have a piece of paper and a pencil ready? And uh, please, can you call out uh, so that you can see your mistakes? And we love our mistakes. Don't be embarrassed by them. Um, um, that's how we learn. Okay, now look at the money I've got on this stage here. How much money have I got there? Now, I could go, I could count 5, 10, 15, 20, but there's also a math story there. There's, there's a math sentence. There's a, a number fact that I could know that would help me. What is it? Yeah, well, it could be fa repeated addition. 5, add 5, add 5, add 5. It could be that. Or it could be my time tables. 5, t how many times? Times 4. So I could do uh, 5 times 4. That's time number one, time number two, time number three, time number four. Five times four is 20. I'm sorry, I'm, I know you're probably thinking, oh, I don't need to see that, Mr. Barrett. Don't keep showing me that every time. Let's just count this in fives. But it's really helpful to link ideas together. So um, uh, it's, it's good to see the same thing in different ways. OK, right, let's try another one. OK, how much is there here? Turn your partner, sorry, turn your partner. Yes, right, excellent. There's 10p there. Uh, I could, how could I have written that as a math story? Yeah, I could write two, add two, add two, add two, add two. Or I could do two, how many times? One, two, three, four, five. So let's go over here and just see that a different way. Two. How many times? Five times. A two, a two, a two, a two, a two. Time number one, time number two, time number three, time number four, time number five. Two times five is ten. So the value there is 10p. Fantastic. OK, let's do another one. How much is there here? Yes, there is. Yeah, 90p. That's right. 90p. Now, uh, again, what math stories could I do? What math sentences could I do? Yeah, I could do 10, add 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 10. I could count in tens. Uh, it's not a math story. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. But again, how many coins are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, oops, sorry, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine coins. So ten times nine. Again, let's see that in another format. Ten times nine. There's your first ten. Here's your array. Ten time number one, time number two, time number three, time number four, time number five, time number six, time number seven, time number eight, time number nine. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. Ten times nine is ninety. OK, this uh, skill you use all the time with money. Um, you don't, um, you, I mean, I suppose you do. I said before that you don't count as you hand the money over. I suppose you do. You do. Um, I, I do sometimes uh, pay at the till and the, and the shopkeeper asks for 40p and I might count 10, 20, 30, 40. But it's you have to a bit like subitizing, a bit like when you just look um, at a at some um, uh counters and you know how many counters there are in real life when you look in your wallet or your purse and you think quickly have i got enough money i could if that was in my purse i could just quickly see oh 10 times 4 40p i've got 40p it's just such a useful skill okay right now another really useful skill for with money is our bonds of 10 the numbers that make 10 so we've got a 10 frame here and um, we're going to use uh, 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 rhymes and things don't always help very much and silly actions don't always help. But I, uh, there's one, uh, uh, the rhyme that we did earlier, um, right earlier in the, in the about lesson five or something, um, uh, our bonds of ten um, uh, phrases that we're going to say. I just find them so useful. So let's see if we can uh, remember them. So I'm going to say it my turn and then I want you to say it back. So there's 10 here, so my turn. 10 and 0, you're a hero. Your turn. Okay. 
My turn. One and nine, feeling fine. Your turn. Brilliant. Oh, sorry. Oops. <laughs> Two and eight, feeling great. Your turn. That's it. Three and seven, made in heaven. Brilliant. Four and six, let's do some tricks. Good job, guys. He's still going. Five and five, let's do a jive. Fantastic. And then it just turns around the other way again. We'll do it this way. I'll say that's four. Four and six, let's do some tricks. That's right. Three and seven, made in heaven. Your turn. Good job. Two and eight, feeling great. Good job. One and nine, feeling fine. Good job. And finally, ten and zero, you're a hero. Okay, so I've got some uh, money on the left and some money on the right. Uh, let's just review how to do, say which one's left and right. The way I remember which side is left or right is I point my fingers, make them a bit like two guns, okay? And whichever one looks like a capital L, that's the left. So the other one has to be the right, okay? So if, it, if you point your fingers forward, you do that now. Make your hands like this. Yeah, and this side, the one that looks like a capital L, that's the left side. Okay, right, okay. So... There's two piles of coins. Which one has more? Pause the video and work out which one has more. Right, let's check. Let's have a look. Uh, 5 and 5 is 10. 10, 11, 12, 13. So there's 13p there. And 10 add 2 is 12p. So there's 13p there, 12p there. So if you said left, you were right. Well done. <laughs> if you said you left, you were right. Uh, if you said left, the left is the one that has the most money. Oh, my word. Who let me teach? OK, right. Now, next one. So we've got money on the left and we've got money on the right. Pause the video. Which one has more? OK, so I'm going to have a look. So 10 add 5 add 5. That makes 20. And then I'm going to count in twos. So I've got 20, 22, 24. And then 20 add 5, that makes 25. So there's 24p on the on here, on the left-hand side, and 25p over here. So this one has more. The value is greater on this side, on the right. Okay. Right, last one. Uh, money on the left, money on the right. Which one has more? Okay. Uh, 10 add 5 is 15. Then I'm going to go to the next biggest coin, uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that's 20p. 10 add 5 is 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So it's the right again. The right has more again. Well done, guys. Okay. Now, okay. So I'm sorry, again, uh, I'm sorry there's no P's on this. Um, but I've got a part, part, whole. And the whole today is I went to the shops and I had 10p. And I bought a yum bar uh, uh, for 5p. Um, how much money have I got left? Five and, mm, let's do a jive, five and. Yeah, five, I've got 5p left, that's right. Let's just have a look at that on a bar, just for uh, a bar model, just to help us think about it. So I had 10p and then I spent 5p and then I was trying to work out how much was left. What would happen if I went to the shop? This is really a year two-y question, but an easy year two-y, so, so um, uh, everyone should be joining in. If I, if I went to the shops and I paid, let's see where we were, if I went to the shops and I paid, I bought a chocolate bar for 5p, but I paid 10, would that be fair? It wouldn't be fair, would it? They would have to give me something back, wouldn't they? Tell the tell your partner what do they have to give you back? It's, it's a word beginning with ch. Yeah, that's right. Change. They have to give you the change. The change 
is to, is making it fair. So if if I if I spend if I go to the shops and um, a chocolate bar costs five p and I give the person on the till ten p for it, that's not fair. And the only way they can make it fair is by giving me the difference back, the change. Okay, we're going to play a game with that in a minute, but we're just going to start uh, warming ourselves up to that idea. So I go to the shops and I've got 10p and I buy pencils for 3p, one pence each. God, they're cheap. How much money uh, have I got left? How much, oh, excuse me. If I go, I go to the shops and I've spent, uh, I've bought something for 3p, how much money have I got left? Tell your partner. Yeah, I've got 7p left, haven't I? Okay. Let's have a look at that on a bar model. So I go to the shops, I've got 10p, I spend 3p, how much is left? And we said it was 7p. If I went to the shops and something cost, uh, and I had 10p and I paid 10p, but it was only 3p, would that be fair? No, they would have to give me something back. They would have to give me the change. They would have to give me uh, the difference between 10 and 3. 10 take away 3 is 7. Difference is another word for taking away. Okay, let's have a look at another one. I go to the shops and I've got 20p this time. And I buy a dozen eggs and they cost 11p. How much money have I got left? Put that back to money. Yeah. 9p, yeah, and then let's have a uh, now that was a bit of a harder one. I'm sorry, year ones, that was a much harder one. Sorry, so I'm thinking uh, I've got 11p that I've, I've, I've paid 11p, I've paid for something that's 11p. Um, one and mm, feeling fine, one and nine, so I know that I need 9p. I've got 9p left. Let's have a look at that on a bar. I've got 20p, I spend 11p. How much have I got left? Um, and it's 9p. But along similar lines, if you go to the shop and all you've got in your pocket is a 20 pence coin and you pay that, that's not fair if it costs 11p. They have to give you the difference. They have to give you, uh, they have to think 20 take away 11 equals 9. And they give you 9p change. And again, the difference, take away is a word for difference. Okay, I think it'll make more sense if we play this game. Let's play, pay for it, but play when we're giving change. You're the shopkeeper. You have to scan the items. The customer will pay you some money, and you have to give them their change. Okay, what you look lovely. Okay, so the customer's paid ten p, but the value of the item is only seven p. Is it fair? They'll have paid ten p. Is it fair to pay ten p for something that's only seven p? No, so I have to give them the difference. I have to give them the change. So the change is 3p. Thank you for my change. Okay, here we go again. The customer's asked for... So we're the shopkeepers. The customer's asked for some apples. They've paid 10p. and But the apples were only 9p. Is it fair that they've paid 10p? I mean, that's not... Is that right? Is that is that a fair deal? No, it's not fair, is it? So uh, we have to... Um, give them uh, their, the difference back. We have to give them uh, the difference between nine and 10. 10 take away nine is one. One and nine feeling fine. We press check. Thank you for my change. Okay, the buying apple juice. Right, it costs one P. They pay 10 P, that's way too much. Is that fair? No, that's not fair, is it? We have to give them their change. We have to give them the difference between 10 and one. One and feeling fine, one and well done, one and nine. Thank you for my change. Okay, bacon is nine P. They pay ten P, they pay too much. Is that fair? No. It's not fair, is it? We have to give them the difference. We have to give them their change. So uh, ten take away nine is one, or we can also say one and nine feeling fine. Thank you Brilliant. for my change. Okay, guys. So, definitely, uh, year ones, you really don't need to be doing this too much. You can just do it within 10. It's, you know, it's not, you don't really need to do that in year one. Um, year twos, 
I would definitely recommend that you get comfortable with uh, doing change um, from 10p and then work on 20p. Okay, right. Okay, guys, uh, let's stop there. Uh, so um, uh, have a nice holiday next week. Uh, your reward today is you get, uh, you push a button on the side of your bed and the, and the bed opens. And underneath, the two doors have slid apart and underneath there is a swimming pool with lights in it and everything. And it's got glass bottoms so you can see down into the lounge. Fantastic. Um, have a nice week. Cheers then. Bye.